Welcome to another segment of Conference Happenings. Today I'm at the ABC Christian Store. You probably all have been here before, and if you haven't, you should come. The manager has been Larry Wilton for quite some time, Larry. You've been here for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm like a bump on a log. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here a long time, yes. Uh, I started on 911, actually. 911, so that's so been a few I'm years. Doing math. Yeah, that's and a few couple years. of years out, but years other than that, like you're that. back. 24 years. Something. You know, you know exactly what goes on in this store. Well, I don't know about exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have staff that maybe I, make it fun for you sometimes? I do. I do have staff that make it fun. Uh, we, we work together here. We're kind of like an ABC family mm -hmm. here, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, we try to, uh, to uh, make accommodations and allowances for everyone uh, in terms of uh, people needing time off, for example, you mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. we have a small staff. And so oftentimes, you know, uh, uh, when somebody's wanting time off, we have to kind of rally the troops to be able to cover for that person. But uh, it seems to work out for us. And we had, as you say, a, a very good staff, a very friendly, cordial staff. We've had a couple of new people that joined us just this year. Yes, we're going to talk about you them. Mm -hmm. Just because I want people in the audience to know who is working here and who they expect to see when they come. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, the ABC has always been known as a bookseller and a food seller. Yes. And is it more than that now? It is more than that now. And, and uh, over the years, we've found that uh, diversity in the product is part of the key, at least, to trying to uh, keep the bottom line where it should be. Yes. <laughs> And uh, so we've, we've branched out into a lot of areas, actually. Uh, you can buy things like kids' toys, kids' clothing, uh, especially infant wear and so on. Uh, uh, oh, there's a number of things. We sell the Maison Berger. We've been selling that for a few years, and that's been doing okay for us. Um, we carry um, a lot of uh, Native artwork. Oh. now mm -hmm. and and that's doing very well for us as well so uh, so yeah we, we we try to be diverse uh, we try to keep products that people will be interested in buying uh, occasionally we get a product that doesn't work so well you know <laughs> and it goes on sale then and and it goes on sale and goes out there or sometimes we get a product because sometimes you buy like a pallet load of material and you're not sure of everything that's going to be in there so occasionally we get stuff that doesn't work for us and so that doesn't go on sale we have a place in the alley where we put that <laughs> so. well you know um i'm just going to put a little plug in here because this is a great place to buy gifts i know yes. i've bought christmas mm. presents here i've bought books for things i've um and i don't come often you know, I not often enough. No, Debbie. I know. <laughs> I come about three times a year. And when you come, you should bring some. <laughs> I should. I should come with a bag full of money so that I can I can stock up. I was going to say bring other people with you. Oh, bring but other they can people. Bring bags of money as well. <laughs> that would be nice. That would yes. be nice. I know that um, you do sell things sort of online ahead of when the the bookmobile or the truck goes out. Is that yes, how it works we, now? Yes, we, we do have a website. We're still working with tweaking that website mm -hmm. and getting it uh, functioning as it really ought to function. We're having some issues with it right now. It's still functional, uh, but uh, for example, sometimes it'll say there's something in stock, but it may not be in stock oh, because we're having issues with synchronization between the store database and the, the website just now. But we're working on getting that resolved, um, but yes, people can order online. They can uh, they can pre-order materials to come on the bookmobile, for example, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and that ensures that it'll be there when yes. the bookmobile gets in your area. Because sometimes we do sell out of uh, products, you know, and uh, we get over as far as Winnipeg, and oops, we don't have a certain product because it's been sold <laughs> because out it's in Manzac before it's it got sold there. out in Regina yeah. or whatever. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, that, that's a difficulty, but, um, you know, it's one of those things that does happen. And we're here in the store, so if you see people walking around behind us or in front of us, it's just because you have customers. And just come on in if you're here. <laughs> yes, come on um, in, Dick. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just wondering about um, the <clears throat> schedule and how you promote the schedule for the bookmobile. Uh, well, we, we have a number of ways that we do that. We use social media quite a bit more and more, and the, uh, the driver that we just hired is, uh, has strength in that area as well, which I personally don't have a, <laughs> a lot of strength in the social media area, but I have a team around me that, uh, that's able to do that with, uh, for us. And so uh, we use social media, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we use uh, emails as well, mm -hmm. so people can sign up and join in the, the email group that you know is pertinent so if they, to the if they buy they once live. they can probably buy again they'll be in that group that gets all yes, the advertisements yes, and everything yes every time the bookmobile goes out and we go monthly to Calgary and Edmonton John will be sending emails out that we're coming it will get posted on the social media Facebook and, and so on you know and then we are also uh, having an I'm not and yes, I did. I saw it on the website this morning, actually. We post the book and meal schedule on the website as well. And so our goal with the website and the book and meal postings is that we'll be able to look ahead and post at least uh, a potential uh, schedule for the entire year. Oh, so that right. people can look on the website and see, oh, he's going to be in Winnipeg such mm -hmm. and such time. He's going to be in, you know, Swift Current or wherever. Right. On such and such a day. And so, so for I camp meeting, we're going to, after they, you know, they do all those driving, and I know that John, which we will meet in a minute or two, mm -hmm. um, he's going to be at, or you probably will be too, but the Man Sass camp meeting. For the Man Sass camp meeting, John will be there for the whole week with the bookmobile. I will be there just the first weekend to do okay. the auditorium sale. Then I rush back here to finish getting Alberta set up. And of course, when uh, uh, on John's last weekend, we're doing our yes. auditorium sale here in Alberta. So, yeah. So, so for camp meeting, you'll have special books from the Pacific we will. Press. We you'll will. have. Uh, we'll have special books from Pacific Press. Um, there are a number of new books this year that you'll want to. Uh, uh, take a look at and mm -hmm. perhaps purchase. Uh, we'll have a uh, different variety of books. We'll have some that are a little heavier reading, but some that are a little lighter reading, some devotional kinds of materials. Stories are always uh, received well on the auditorium sale, so we'll have some stories books as well. As well. We'll have kids' books. And this year we're going to try something a little new for the food that we usually put one food item on and it's usually fried chicken because it's a light <laughs> enough case to carry out of the auditorium. And, uh, but uh, now that they've changed the size of the big franks, for example, you know, down to a 15 ounce can, that's doable to carry out of the auditorium. So we're putting two food items on the auditorium sale this year, now, fried chicken and big franks. So. If you can't get to the auditorium sale, and you maybe drive in from Lacombe mm -hmm. in, during the week or whatever. Can you go to the ABC store and get that sale price? For the books, you mean? For yes. For the books or the yes. food? Or the yes. The food won't have the same sale because on okay. Sunday we have a little deeper sale on the couple of foods that are on the auditorium sale, but they will be on sale the entire week back at the okay. store, just a little less. Because that's when I usually amount. end yeah. up coming to get my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now, just before we leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, camp meeting is always a, a big deal. Do you have people that are going to do samples during yes. the week? Yes, we will have food samples each day of the week, twice a day, oh. just before the noon meal and just before the evening meal. So that's something to always look forward to, is yes. always to get those samples. It's kind of mm -hmm. like going to Costco, right? It is. <laughs> Only better. Only better. <laughs> okay, you know, um, <clears throat> this year you've had a bit of change in your personnel here. I know that Lori is still on some off time, yes. and you interim replaced her. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's permanent to help. I don't know, because she probably needed help anyway. Yeah. But... But um, who did you hire for that? We hired Joy Nischuk. 
Um, Joy has been doing very well for us, extremely well. <laughs> and I was so glad when I learned that uh, she had some experience in accounting because that was an area where we were really suffering. Uh, fortunately, we did have a student help us out a bit, but mm -hmm. of course, being a student, she couldn't be here full time to help out and so when we hired Joy in January full time that really was helpful uh, and uh, that's good yeah and, and uh, another area that Joy is working are you going to talk with Joy I'm going to oh, well, wander we'll by Joy her talk. office we'll and Joy. talk to her for yeah, a few we'll, minutes we'll let Joy say. but I don't know what you were going to say so I don't well, know why I should ask her say that, that, uh, <laughs> Uh, another area of strength for Joy is social media mm. and marketing yes. and social media and so on. And of course, that's the day and age in which we live, you know. And so, um, I was going to say you and I, but I at least <laughs> may, may not want to invest a lot of time in learning about social media. It depends on but what it is, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm so glad that we have uh, people who are uh, strong in that area. Yes, that's good. Because we have that felt that need for quite some time. You know, so. so I'm also going to ask you a little bit about the the bookmobile driver. I am going to ask him a few questions too when we get okay. to him. But um, what's his name and how long has he been with the ABC? His and name is John Olson and um, he doesn't say it. He says he comes from Toronto, but he was <laughs> born in Newfoundland. So he comes oh, from Newfoundland. Oh, okay. So, and... Um, <laughs> But John has been doing very well. We hired John. He started, I think, was the 2nd of February. And again, John has strengths in the uh, social media area as well with marketing and so on. And so that's, that goes very well with the, with the job, of course, of bookmobile yes. driver. So I'm going to ask him a few questions yeah. about his background mm -hmm. when, we, when we get to him. But, you know, it's, it's always nice to meet the staff that mm -hmm. come to a uh, camp meeting. Um, we have... Not very many staff, like you said. Not Do you really. have to hire extra just for camp meeting? Uh, not usually not through the week. For the first weekend, we, we um, hire a little extra help because the store is open while we're running the auditorium sale as well. And our regular oh. staff pretty mm -hmm. much takes all of us to run the, the auditorium sale. And so we usually hire at least one person to help back at the store. So That's during all. this week, camp meeting is on and we're <coughs> there. Make sure you go in and, and be nice to all those people that work in the ABC because they might be run off their feet, but they're mm -hmm. there to help you and they're there to be um, the face of the ABC. Mm -hmm. So let's go around and just um, see who else is around. I know you're going to lose at least one staff member. Mm-hmm after the summer because she decided she's going back to school. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're talking about Sol Egdon, right? She's hiding over in the corner. Sol, how long have you worked for the ABC Christian store? I think almost three years. And I remember the first year you did camp meeting mm -hmm. and, and one of your jobs was to take all the cardboard. Remember that yep. cardboard? <laughs> and we went on the cart together yes. to show her how to how to run the car, then she was gone. <laughs> and and you've been, Ian, you've been with us for how long? I've been working here for, um, well, since last summer, so oh, okay. almost a year. Yeah. You were at camp meeting last year? Yes. So both of you are familiar with what goes on at camp meeting? Mm -hmm. Sol, your, your dad and mom left us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they went to the States and he's a treasurer now in one of the conferences mm -hmm. and um, we miss him. Mm -hmm. And we miss his pants that he brings to us, brought to us. And um, you're going to go to school in the Philippines, you said. Yes, I am. What are you yes. finishing? I am planning to finish nursing, something okay. that I held back for a little bit because I didn't know if I wanted it really. Yeah. So a lot of prayers and a lot of journaling and, you know, and I finally found out that that's what really God wanted me to do. So I had to put it back into, you know, my dream goal and then Good. go for it again. Good. And you're... A student too or have mm -hmm. been a student what are you taking mm -hmm. i am doing nursing as well oh okay yeah, so i just got like about two years left okay my degree and yeah and mm -hmm. so you're not sure if you're going to go to the philippines you're going to stay here in canada yeah i'm still weighing my option i'm still indecisive right now oh so. that's okay you can work yeah. here that's good <laughs> yeah okay be. thank mm -hmm. you and we'll miss you yeah, after miss the you guys too. after camp meeting's yes. over we will miss you i miss, I miss you guys too <laughs> 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 it's okay. We're only here for a minute. And they might cut just a little bit out. So you might not be here long. But uh, if we called and asked about 
trying to get into the websites and stuff, do we talk to you? Yes, for sure. Okay, so yeah. that's who you get to talk to. Just ask for joy if you're having trouble getting into the website. <laughs> and okay, I'll let you go back to work. Okay, but thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs> thank you. Come on in, John. Okay, I'm Come on in, in John. Okay. And I just want to, I just want to mention that there's somebody else here. <laughs> Come here just to say hello. <laughs> just to say hello. And, and who are you? I am. Um, Ken McPherson. Ken McPherson. <laughs> you know, you did the bookmobile for a long time. A couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> long time. But you know, he did retire. He's looking wonderful and rested. Yeah. Thank you for your job. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed it and I miss it. Oh, well, that's good. But don't tell him that. <laughs> well, it's too late. He's already here. I, 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 my job is gone. Oh, mm. true, true, true. Mm. But thank you that you just happened to be here for a minute. Mm. I want to talk to to the new driver of the bookmobile, and um, you do other things too. Your name is John. John, yeah. John, John Olson. Olson, yeah. Now um, I asked you ahead of time. Mm -hmm. What is your background? Uh, I was entrepreneur for about twenty plus years. I uh, worked for myself. Had my own company. Uh, doing online marketing and advertising and um, was doing great until this little thing came around in 2019 called COVID and it uh, really hurt my business and uh, I tried to recover, tried to recover, couldn't do it. And uh, it was a good run and uh, my wife and I were talking one night and we said, you know, what do you love doing that, you know, you can do? Because I was, you know, doing this for so long. Mm -hmm. what, what could I possibly do? Well, I love driving. She's like, well, why don't you be a truck driver? I was like, great idea. <laughs> How? <laughs> so you'd never been a truck driver no, before. No, no. I, I mean, I'd driven across country, and especially when I was doing my business, I would go to the states constantly. So I was driving all the time, but never a commercial truck. So had to go get my license. Uh, then I started working for companies uh, based out of Edmonton. I was doing runs back and forth to the states, and um, it just, you know, it was great. I loved it, but. It, you know, it was definitely not a passion. So, you know, one thing led to another and it was, it was actually one Sabbath and it was in December and I was kind of thumbing through the, the Alberta Adventist magazine and it was a June issue. <laughs> so I'm looking at it and I look at the back and there's a bookmobile driver. I'm like, well, Ken's there. Like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. But I look, okay, June and it's December, whatever. It's, you know, it's not gonna, whatever. And I came into the bookstore because asked Larry and I was kind of a regular here. I would come down all the time. And uh, he's, I'm like, yeah, you're still hiring. And Saul, uh, one of the employees here, she's like, yeah, we're still looking. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> she's like, no, we're, we're honestly still looking for a driver. So I put my name in and one thing led to another and, and uh, I got hired. And I mean, I, you know, the running joke when I meet people on the road is, you know, it's the perfect job. I get to drive and I get to be around books and Bibles all the time. But I hear so, you have other strengths too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So w when I was doing an online business, I, I did a lot of uh, uh, marketing for, for small home-based businesses. And, and marketing over the past decade plus has been social media. So uh, email marketing, social media marketing, uh, kind of bringing that to the table as well. So, so you're the expert. Oh, gosh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> here, here, you're the well, expert. Well, no, it, it's it's great because everyone here, and I mean, you know, Saul and Joy do amazing stuff. That, you oh, know, yes, she is. Just amazing, like, you know, ads and kind of like really cool graphics. And it's, it's really easy for me to just say, hey, I'll just email people about it or I'll put it on social media for it. Well, you need I, all sorts of those kinds of people that yeah. can do different things to get it out there. Oh, for sure. And and, and so know. I'm just looking at your shirt yes, and it's yes. Berman. Yes, uh, I'm definitely not a Berman student, but ah. I'm trying to be a product of the product. So, so you're marketing, <laughs> marketing, are you? marketing, <laughs> yes, Berman. So yes, definitely a school people should look into. So, and, and also... <laughs> During camp meeting, you'll probably have an ABC Christian Store T-shirt. Yes, yes, yep. I will be. I will be being the product of the product for that as well. So, yeah. Have you done long runs? Have you gone to Winnipeg? Is that our farthest? Yep, yep. So we we've, we've gone as far as Winnipeg. Uh, we do the the uh, Saskatchewan Manitoba runs, uh, and I, I did that earlier this uh, this year. And uh, by the time you see this, I've already been out there to Winnipeg and with Regina, the big truck with the big truck yes not the cube van so. and, and it's the first time yes yes so 
Yes, it'll eat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's regular now. So it's, it's you know, I obviously can never replace Ken, but uh, because actually, fun story, Ken was actually how I got introduced to the ABC. Oh, is that I, right? I was living in Edmonton and uh, my, my mother-in-law said, well, you should go to the bookmobile. I'm like, what's a bookmobile? And she's like, it's up a coral wood. I'm like, okay. And Ken was there with the bookmobile. So I didn't even know this. This was like a decade ago. I didn't even know this store existed. So, yeah, so. Well, it's, kinda... it's a good advertising for the book bookstore yes, that's here. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, not everybody sure. can get to the bookstore. So we're we glad bring, that We you're... bring the bookstore to people. And so. that's a good thing. That's <laughs> a good sure. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I've met a couple of your staff, mm -hmm. several of your staff, a former employee even. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, camp meeting, we're here. We're ready to go. We're ready yes. to help all the people that are on we campus are. and coming for the weekends and... Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that we have a wonderful camp meeting, wonderful book sale. We can help the ABC Christian store get that bottom line. Yes. <laughs> but there yeah. is many different things that yeah, uh, even... we, we can provide for, yeah. the, for yeah. the people here at camp meeting yeah. this week. Any other things that you want to tell us about this store? You know, yeah, it I has know. lots of things in it. It does have lots of food choices. Uh, um, now, is there things that you can buy here that you can't buy in some of the grocery stores? Because a lot of them are yes, having these, yes, these yeah. vegetarian products yeah, now. Yeah, a lot of them do have, but what we've found, even with the products they have, we have a greater variety within a given brand name. Okay. Like Gardein, for example, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we carry everything that Gardein has pretty much. And in, in the grocery stores, you may find three or four different products and that's it. Uh -huh. You know, and so... Uh, so if you're really into a health-based diet and you want to use these products, this is a good place to come. It is a good place to come. We, Do you have vegan things? It's all under things? one roof. Kind of thing, it's you true, know. under one roof. Uh, do you have vegan products then too? We do have vegan products. We carry Beyond Burger, a little bit of Impossible uh, product as well. And both of those, of course, are vegan and uh, gluten-free as well. Oh. Because gluten-free, as you know, is uh, becoming a bit of an issue or concern for people. And so, um, again, you know, the Beyond and the Impossible are gluten-free. Thank you so much for taking your time to, to go Thank through you. the store a little bit and let me see and learn mm -hmm. who the new people are because yes. I haven't met them before, no. some of them. And, you know, it's always a pleasure. And I know I'm looking around and I'm looking at all the books for the preschool and the children's Bibles mm -hmm. and all those plush toys. Yes. Um, those yes, are jelly really caps, good. As you mentioned. <laughs> That's another big That's thing. A, and and we, we, we sell a lot of that through... We sell a lot of that online, actually. Oh, and so, oh good. Yeah. Well, thank you again. And you know that Camp Meeting always has lots of specials at the ABC Christian Store. Yes. So make sure that you come and see us yep. and talk to all of the staff. They're all fun and wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.